Hello. Also, I think that encoding overload at the beginning was partially uh having the <laughs> having the capture card up. This thing is really memory hungry, it turns out. Right here. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Today, I'm going to tell the story of star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where stars live. In the sanctuary of Starhaven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck this weird thing into the story? <laughs> yeah, I did! 
so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Cammy Koopa. No, you mustn't do that. Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it. Cut it out, Bowser. You're changing the story. <laughs> we did it. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Now Star Kids may rise to the Haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Game is really loud. And paper. Pat Ma. Love this game. Been waiting a long time to get to it. <laughs> so anyway, Nintendo was like, you know, let's, we put Mario in a bunch of things. Platformer, racing, puzzle game. Let's put him in an RPG. So they got Square to help them with that. And then the Nintendo 64 came out and they were like, we're gonna use cartridges. And everybody else was like, including Square. So Nintendo said, you know what? We'll do it without you. <laughs> we'll make our own Mario RPG with blackjack and hookers. In fact, you know what? Forget the Mario. <laughs> but anyway, it started out as Mario RPG 2. And then, for whatever reason, they changed it to Mario Story. Or, as it's known here, Paper Mario. Because everybody's flat! Okay. 2001. So this was a very late N64 release. How are you playing this? Uh, this is N64 modded for RGB with a D blur. This is what it looks like. Oh, wait. No. Get out. Get out. This is what it looks like with the blur on. Like, see, like this. And then you do boop. 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 Okay. File name. Stream. I've been jonesing to play this again. The Mario House. Mail call! Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess P -p 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 Talking over myself. <sighs> I'm gonna mute it for a sec because there's no music. But I gotta check the volume. I mean, tell me if the volume is too quiet, too loud, you know the drill. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. However, don't look forward to the cake. It's kind of dog shit. Just completely fucked it up. Oh, Toad Town. I wonder why they call it that. I might put it, like, right here. 
right here. Right here. Let me know. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet or anything. I, I, I trust that you will let me know. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like all like lots of guests are already here. L Luigi, you've never been. We didn't invite you, remember? No matter what the internet tells me. Ah, uh, spin dash. I don't know why they never brought this move back. God, this the music is so good. What's in here? Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm tasty. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all of my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear, I got so into my cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. Yeah, walk on the table. Walk on the table. I've been practicing cooking. Oh wait, should I do, should I do like this? I hope someday that I get good enough to cook food as delicious as Taste Teas. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. That might get a little tedious to do that every single time, though. No, 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 no! But yeah, I'm gonna talk to these guys. I'm in no particular hurry. Hey, Mario. I hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of a rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat to the buffet table. Ah, salutations, Mario. Do you know Frost Tea here? He's come all the way from the Shiva region, which lies far to the north of here. No, I, I can't say I know you. Princess Peach is such a gener generous and wonderful lady. Just as I was told, it was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. Now what was up here? Whoa, camera. Doesn't seem to open. It's locked. <laughs> just huff helium. Darn, I just ran out. Wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I'll bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Wait, let me hear this part. Check, check. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, just wanted to make sure. I'm an eavesdrop on your conversation! Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Well, she's gonna keep waiting. I'm a gonna mingle. Oh yeah, she want to kiss the Mario. All the door is locked. Penguin. Wow, this capsule is, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. I like how they modeled this after Mario 64. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yup, our future looks bright. Hello, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you. Yeah, Nintendo says so too. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with frost tea. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. Yeah, door lock. 
But yeah, this is like if this is this castle from Mario 64 if people actually lived in it. I come from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. Gorgeous, I said. So cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. Okay, I'ma get it. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm gonna tell everyone about it. Hey, listen, listen. It's the Knights into Dream sound effect. I'm a nomad mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. Okay, maybe I should do that, the filter for the mouse, because that would be fitting. The mice, the mises. I'ma want to go in here. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in here at the moment. Huh? Oh no, absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into her room without asking her first, Mario. Let me in. I said no, and that means no, you are simply not allowed to go in there. Let me do it. I s Come on. Boy, you're persistent. I guess I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though, and don't touch anything. Woohoo! I'm a peeping Tom. I'm a pee on your sofa. What a big fireplace, and what a cozy fire. Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. <laughs> this must be her favorite style of dress. Frame photo of Mario. Woohoo! <laughs> These are cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. Quite a fluffy bed. It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. Like honestly, this is this is so cute. Who could who could hate any of this? I mean, besides Mario sneaking in here without permission. That you know, that that's a little iffy, but. I did just make him do it. Mario is a slave to my will. How was it? To tell you the truth, I've never seen the inside of the room. Oh yeah, that man is that man is out of a job. Don't worry, I'ma not tell nobody. Uh, I'm I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump 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 thump. That, that was just my mouth. I was doing an impression of a drum. Nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, so pleasant. Spin! Can't spin up the stairs. Doesn't work. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. Okay. Oh yeah, it's real. I love that the music gets muffled the further you go in. That's such a nice touch. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Uh-oh. That's not good. Nothing- nothing good is happening when the ground starts shaking. Oh no! Somebody put another castle underneath my castle! And it has a clown face! Wait a minute. Mario Galaxy isn't supposed to happen yet. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Uh-oh. Is that some bitch again? <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser! But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? 
Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's just, it's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha, <laughs> this castle under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Huh, what? It's Mario. What a shock. Ha, huh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Mario, you can do it. I'ma do what I do best. Hmm. Not a com not a very compelling battle system so far. Why do people like this game again? Always fighting, you're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Starhaven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. God, that effect is so cool. Like that... Like, I know it's like the Spongebob baby ride image, but... Like... I don't know, just something about that just gives me the shivers. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Uh-oh. That's a lot of... That's a lot of damage right there. He did a lot of damage to me. Oh, I did no damage to him. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Uh-oh. This does not look so good. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes, oh yes! Oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your- wait, no, what, what, what's a good, like, witchy voice? Like... Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness! That's why you're the king! As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Oh no, Mario! Oh, and this track too. Like, just the, the sweeping. And now the games start for real. Prologue, a plea from the stars. Prologue.
Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew. That's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Weren't these guys in one of the GameCube Mario Party games? Yeah, Mario Party 5. Which is one of the rare instances of the Mario spin-offs, like, kind of co-mingling together. Which, honestly, I think they should do more, because it's always neat when it happens. Like, come on, you can't tell me you wouldn't want to play as Prince Peasley in Mario Party or Mario Kart. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? Pink Goomber with a bow. You know it's a girl because it has a bow on. This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! You got some crusty pixels on Mario there. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goompa! Goombario! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess in all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Ah, uh, you know, that was a good nap. My leg was a little broken, but that's okay, just kind of walk it off. Oh, Mario, I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Mario, you have to wake up. This place? This is Goomba Village, the tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. Man, you must not get a lot of business at all. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying that a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? Yeah, actually, given what happens in the rest of this series, that is completely believable. No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in and out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Although, maybe not. Could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you're, you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Yeah, it's a it's a very dialogue heavy opening. I mean, it's an RPG. You know, you got to you got to expect that, but it, we should get more gameplay as the stream goes on. Oh, land sakes, Mario. So nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. And I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just laying there asleep for so long. I don't know. That's just the voice it felt I felt like giving her. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario, I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Mario, you look better, I'm so glad. I was really worried about you, because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Yeah. Oh, it's a block. Howdy Mario, feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now? 
Oh, shooting star summit, something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit, summit's near Tow Town. <laughs> you have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax, don't worry. I'll just fix it in a jiffy. I'ma just jump the fence, really. It's, it's fine. Okay. Oh, there's a money in the bushes. Yep, save, save the game. Yeah, I know, I know how to save. I know what saving is. Don't worry about it. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Guma. I'm a Guma grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. <laughs> where, where did the pink go? Why'd you lose the pink? I mean, I guess maybe the blood's getting thin. Do Goombas have blood? I don't know. But God, I, I, I have so much nostalgia for this game. It's, it's really just lovely. Oh, you startled me. Mm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good knee, pull through. Call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Koompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Yeah, all right. Do good work, my friend. Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. Oh, that was quick. So I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Oh yeah, let's get, let's get out of here. Ooh, what a job, sorry they've kept you waiting. Gate's finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe the Shooting Star Summit's just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. But duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what can I say? I, I like to put my all into it. I know it's ridiculous, but, you know. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario. I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. What? what What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Cammy Koopa. Hmm. I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, it's the spinning block. But I can't hit that one from underneath, and I can't spin jump on top of it, so it is truly impassable. <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> um, I'll just fix that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Cammy Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? Didn't sound good. Hope nothing's happened to her. What, what, wait, what? Bowser went and kidnapped Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable. And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Nobody else. Oh, oh yeah, this is a neat feature of this game. If you accidentally skip the dialogue, and you're like, Oh crap, I wanna read that, you can press Z and it goes back. And it's like... Yeah, it only goes back so far, but it's still, it's still nice. Uh, oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Do any of the other games do that? I don't remember. When I when I stream Thousand Year Door, we will have to find out. But, you know, one step at a time. Go ask him for it, will you? 
Oh yeah! Oh, M Mario's voice crack a little bit. This throat was not designed to do Mario voice. <laughs> hmm, something I'm missing here. <laughs> Man, Mario just can't stop falling. <laughs> okay, now, here is gameplay. Well, okay, I spoke too soon. Oh, my back! Is that, is that you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door in the tin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because that block is in the way. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. I love his overbite, like the... Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course! Where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, now what to be seen. Guess he must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we better look for it. Okay, do. Do 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 do. The hammer has got to be somewhere close by. Looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If a mm, appears over your head, you can press A to search. What is the A? I should stop do the Mario impression because it is very cringe. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do Mario voice to everybody unsubscribe. Yeah, I got the hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the, break the block that's in our way. You can also use a hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Mmm, coin. Brick. Give me the coin. Oh, it's a dolly. Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. Almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. How did she lose this in a tree? Yes, I'm rich. I'm rich. We've got to have money. Ah, oh, yes. Oh yes, little mushroom. Little baby mushroom. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Yeah! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Trooper. This man is fresh from the egg. Mario, this is Junior Trooper. He's the boss of a neighborhood gang. He's a bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boot yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. So now we got choices. Strategies. Jump hammer. Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. I will pound you like a nail. I'm just getting warmed up. No, that was way too deep. That was not the voice I did before.
Mario, you almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Trooper's special attack. Full power. <laughs> oh no, he did two damage instead of just the one damage. <laughs> Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up a hundred star point you, you experience, you know. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it, I'll be back. Let's go follow up. Hit the block, please, Mario. Thank you. Huzzah. And you can hit this to get a nice spicy heal. Oh, but you can't break this one. Can't do it. Oh, <laughs> Mario even does a little shiver if you try. <laughs> I forgot about that. Is spring fire flower in 64 looks fake without the Vaseline oh I can turn it back on here you go here you go no I like it better off yeah and you get you get items so rare instance of the C buttons being used for non C button purposes non camera Heads up, Mario. I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. They see you. They'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or a hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Yeah, so that's a new thing that I don't think Mario RPG had, is that in Paper Mario, the battle starts before it's even started. You can get like preemptive damage, you can get like an extra turn. And that's all it takes, baby, that's all it takes. I even get money. And yeah, some, some enemies you don't want to jump on. Like this guy... This is Spike Goomba. I'm about to- I'm about to explain the thing that Dustin was already in the middle of explaining. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. He'll definitely get hurt. Arthur? I need you to have a little faith. And yeah, it, it's definitely weird going back to Mario RPG and not being able to do it. Because even, if I recall right, even Mario and Luigi adopts this mechanic. So it, it pretty much becomes a staple of the Mario RPGs after this. One coin? Really? Got a star piece? Wait and see what this is for. We're not gonna tell you yet. But yeah, we're, we're gonna want those, don't worry. And you got, like, flying enemies. So, the depth is slowly starting to reveal itself. That- that enemy's flying! Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air! To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack! You can jump over an enemy to attack one behind it, too! This is good advice, remember it! Oh yeah, that's right, I think... Hammer cannot attack enemies that aren't in front. That's one thing that jumping can do that the hammer cannot do. So yeah, you gotta you gotta pick and choose what move to use. Because you win or lose. And if you lose, you drink some booze.
And as everybody knows, it, it get everybody knows this. I don't know why I'm pretending, but it does get the battles get more interesting later on because the game the game is withholding a major mechanic. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. Oh yeah, you know Mario is only supposed to be like 20 years old, which is weird. I don't want to be older than Mario. Okay, <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goomba, I was very worried about you. Really worried. 20-ish years old in this game. Well, you know, Mario... Mario is perpetually about, like, 25 years old. He... like, he never... He never ages. He's stuck in a time loop. Sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you frit. Now you just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. I thought he was more 30-ish or something. Yeah, that's what everybody thought. <laughs> everybody thought Mario was like 30, 40. But apparently, according to Nintendo, no. <laughs> huh? Hey, that, that doll you've got, that's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Now, you can refuse to give it back to her, but then you're just being like an asshole to a little girl. So, I don't know why you would choose that. You fiend. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much. I'm so happy. My sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present from me. Look at the pretty glitter. Oh, that thing I don't know what it does. I want to take this too. <laughs> the shiver. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. Oh, God. And hang on, nose nose is dying. Just a minute. <laughs> Talking too much, nose objects. Oh no, he's talking again. Send out up send out my best men. The booger men, the pick the pick and flick adventure. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. Starting to show too, I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Gumbario's head is hard as a rock now. Tee hee. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Gumbario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa. We were just rapping with Mario. No, I was rapping earlier. Cause you gotta believe to achieve your dreams. They're memes, but you you can't go to the show. You gotta go with the flow. <laughs> I don't know, rap it, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. Ooh. Okay, so here's a big mechanic. Badges. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here, and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson? No, I, I already know. You better listen, Mario. This is really important. Could I please give you a brief lesson? No, no, I've already played this game. All right, I trust you. Now remember, you need FP flower points to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting a little low. By the way, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Gumbario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I was just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. 
The years are starting to weigh on me, though. I'll tell you, this lower back pain- what back? Also, there actually is, like, of course there is, but glitches you can do to have Goompa follow you the whole game. He does count as a partner, but I think it's like if you try to use his ability, the game crashes or something. I, I forget. A lot of things crash this game if you're not careful. I mean, okay, the regular player wouldn't run into it. Adventure. You're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventure too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Gumbario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You're no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario and have a little faith. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Mario, you won't regret this. I love the, the text box with the little icons in the background. Press down to have him exposit to you. When you're interested, just ask him. He's also helpful during battles. They can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you an enemy's features and HP. Way to go, Goombario. Mario? I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. This is so cool! Mario, let's go! But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. You might have exaggerated a, a little bit. But yeah, you got badges. So I got three BP. So basically how it works is you have a budget, of like a badge budget. Boom, pardon me. This one takes one. So I have two left, but I have no other badges, so I can't use them. Items. Party. Spirits. Map. Oh, I love this map so much. This is like a, such a cute map. This whole game is just so adorable. It really is. Like, okay. I'm a thousand year doorman. I think that's the best in the series. At least based on what I recall. But there's just something about how cute this one is that I, I love about it. So yeah, if I press down, C down. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a toad house, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. The big tree near my house is a great place to get goom nuts. So yeah, he just... Every location in the game has its own flavor text that Goombario will give you. The toad house's slogan is, Refresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired, a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a nap? Yes. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy your stay. Yeah, recover that one HP. Did you sleep well? Take care now. Okay, bye-bye. Oop, meep, meep. Goon nut. Nut. Dad, did you hear? I'm going adventuring with Mario. What? I didn't consent to that. I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You're going to a strong boy. I know you'll be a great help. Everybody here just has Red Dead Redemption voices. <laughs> Good thing you spent so much time training, huh? Had to hear old Goon Papa proud. There we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet to stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Okay, here we go. Beware of Goombas. Ah! Ah! He's real! Hey Mario, during a battle you can change the order we attack with Z. I can attack first if you want, I don't mind. Just keep it in mind, okay? So... Like, do this, and tattle. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them. <laughs> yep, and then it tells you how much health they got, how much... It tells you everything you need to know. 
these guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. Hey, you're not, you're not supposed to know about that. Oh yeah, so now I got the power jump, which cost me two FP to use. But there is no reason to waste it on a regular garden variety Goomba, so I'm not going to. And yeah, so now, now that you've tattled them once, their HP will just show forever. So that's a good way to know if you've done it or not. Oh, my bitrate was behaving itself so well. And now it's, now it's getting a little red. Yeah, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna get a few battles here. I wanna, you know, get some experience. You remember experience points? Star points, you remember those? I remember when they had those. Okay, okay, so elephant, elephant in the room. I probably will make some offhanded comments about where this series is in the current day. Like, it... I'm sorry, I, I can't help it. It's in my nature. But uh, I'm gonna try not to do it too much. Because I, you know, I kind of want this to be less about, oh man, modern Paper Mario is bad. I want to focus on old Paper Mario is good. And it is quite good indeed. Also, something you're gonna notice throughout this game is that a lot of enemies are sort of based on how they looked in Yoshi's Island. Like, there's all, it, it's not super apparent with the Goombas, but once you get to, like, some other enemies, it becomes very obvious that a lot of Yoshi's Island influence was taken. Oh, no, no! No! I did not mean to do that. Okay. Goombario, show me this guy's balls. This is a Spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Mario, if you ever want to feel your legs again, don't jump on them. For God's sake, just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's an Eric Andre bit. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't say anything, but I don't want to traumatize you. Okay, I am low on health. Oh, another badge, close call. So, okay, when my health is low, then it means that sometimes enemies will miss me. Eat a mushroom. Thanks, I think I will. I think I'll eat it now. <laughs> yeah, this game's very specific about how you do it. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Oh, you gods! I'm seeing double. Six flying Goombas. But I need to tattle one. Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. That feels like it would hurt. I mean, I could use my badge. I could do it. <clears throat> but what if I need it later? Get 
getting jumped on does generally hurt. You know what I meant. Okay, grab that. Get a refresher. Hey, hey, older right there. Yeah, you, sp suspicious guy. Don't move. Ah, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Really imaginative names. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> Okay, so now we use it. Tattle him. He's the younger of the two not <coughs> the notorious Goomba brothers. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Oh, he does not have nearly as much health as I thought he did. Blue! Blue Goomba! Yeah! My little brother! You'll pay- You are my brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba brothers. The Goomba King ordered him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no prob. He's- just a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Yeah, it's it's fine. We got we got it. I mean, I don't have any more FP though, but it it's it's fine. It'll be fine. Math mathematically, we are in the clear. That's all it is, really. It's a bit of, bit of quick math. Okay, yes, please die a little bit, thank you. Oh, uh, we are- we are tantalizingly close to a level up. <laughs> I, I'll let you go for now. What a maroon. Okay, now I, I need to go back and heal. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know why they got rid of the spin dash move. Wait, wait, is there anything back here? No. Just, you know, give you something to do while you're walking around. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. Oh no, it is a falsehood! Oh, crap. I got a- I got a little too eager, blew my hammer load way too quick. But do not worry. It, it is but the scratch. Also, yeah, a little late, but I I, <clears throat> I love the little battle stages, too. The great. This game's just great, you know? Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Oh. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Hey, man. By any chance, have you seen the new Mario movie? I have, actually. 
Thanks for the follow, by the way. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It's not like... It's not a 10 out of 10 movie. But it's enjoyable and it... Just like the Sonic movie. If you, if you like Mario... You're probably gonna enjoy it. If you don't like Mario, you might still enjoy it, but you, you'll be missing a bit. But overall, it's just, it's just an, it's an enjoyable little romp of a movie, you know? I liked it. Oh, Mario, it's true! You made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther! Not one step! Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba's really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario. You'd better be. Beat him up, King Goomba. We got you back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba brothers first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Oh, yeah. But first, Google. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. For some reason, when you tattle, it feels like the, the game has trouble keeping up. It just, like, starts lagging a little bit. He's the boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to become a bit bigger, too. Do you think Jack Black was good for Bowser? My opinion is that he did awesome. Yeah, he was he was one of the highlights of the movies. I mean, the movie, to be honest. Like, he, he, did, he did good work. Like, he, he's one of the ones that really got his role and just, like, made it made it his own. He really went all in with it. But I never had any doubt that he would. Arrgh! Please die. Oh, no, he hit me with his big bean foot. Oh, yeah, also, this guy appeared in Super Mario 64 DS for whatever reason. Oh yeah. Okay. So we get we get a choice. We get the level one up. The question is what should it be? You know what? I I'm feeling FP this time. I'm feeling I'm feeling FP. Get more magic. <laughs> what? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool! Victory! Yeah! Gonna play some Jag! Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the- You idiot! You didn't hide it in here! Mario will find it for sure! Oh, do you think? Oh, you know, you might be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to... Yeah, there, there used to be a point where, like, Paper Mario would co-mingle with other Mario spin-offs, but... Not no more. And to be honest, would I, would I even really want it at this point? I mean, what are we gonna do? Put King Ollie in Mario Kart? That's about it. I mean, I'd be okay with that, I guess. Mainly the first game. Yeah, for whatever reason, mainly the first game. Oh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa, ship! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's sprawling that wave. Okay, bye bye. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the frame rate has returned. Anything in here? Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used a star rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips in so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your violence. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, that's very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those Star Spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can save all seven of the Star Spirits. Hmm... Who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Brothers Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! What? It's some sort of adolescent shinobi turtle. Here come the Koopa Bros. <laughs> oh yeah, we're the coolest to cool. Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic and even he couldn't beat Mario. <laughs> sure, get real King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimp -ola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent! That's the spirit! Sell it, Koopa Bros! Show our king that special attack you do so well! Yes, ma'am! Ready, everybody? Oh! Oh, uh, this is oh. How'd you like King Bowser? How was it? <laughs> These guys are Eric Cartman, I guess. Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, no, no, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! Just like stand right here for an arbitrary amount of time. Oh, get the sleepy. Got the sleepy juice. Got the spring juice. What's in here? What's in the treasure? Oh, the hammer throw. 
lets me throw the hammer. Oh, but it costs two. It costs two. I'm gonna try this one for a little bit. So this is where a lot of the strategy comes in, is you have to figure out what badges you want to equip. Because you can't wear all of them. Mario! I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Okay. I was, I was gonna do that anyway, but... Like, have you ever known me not to do it? I'm sure Mario's okay. I wonder what my brother Mario's doing right now. Oh, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. Luigi, you left of me to die. I'ma kill you. I'ma gonna snap you, Nick. And you're alright. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. Not, no, not worried enough. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? He's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about I <laughs> about him, do I? He's your brother. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. This is where Mario lives, by the way. This is the pipe house. It's had a couple renovations since last time. Can get some infotation. So there's 80 badges in the game. Cool. Suspicious patch on the floor. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Oh, the frames aren't. Are you gonna go for full 100%? Probably not. But we'll see when we get there. Oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Oh, and I love- I love the way the music changes. So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky, there exists a Star Haven where stars make their home. In Star Haven, there's a treasure called the Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called Star Spirits. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits can grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please please feel the me. Also, if you really think about it, this plot does have a lot of parallels to RPG because, you know, there was the whole business about the star road there. Oh no, doom, danger, Princess Peach's castle has flown away up into the sky. No castle, horrors, only a hole remains. Our beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word, outrage. Also, yeah, the way the, the buildings like fold down is great. Oh no, oh no, I can't get that one. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna just walk in and you guys, hey, how's it going? How's it going? It's, it's -a me, Mario. I'm gonna poop in the corner. Okay. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. So horrified that I'd just like to forget it ever happened. I have a special present for you in the server. What, what is it? Let's see. <laughs> Let me see if I can download this. We can watch it together. Ah, uh, crap. It, 
It might take too long, I don't know, let's see. Okay, it's so far it's not working. It is not oh wait, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Ah, uh, cool. Alt tab doesn't work. That's great. Gotta switch my monitor. It's fine. Just give me a second. And I will show it to all of you. What this man hath made. So let me just, uh... Hang on, before I show it, let me, uh, just mute the game real quick. So that we don't have the music playing over it. Okay, it's, 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 it's loading. It's loading in. OBS has turned black. It's fine. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Look, I don't got no yeah, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. That was perfect. <laughs> uh. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up while my d when my darling's at home. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's home, I got scolded. What's up with that? <laughs> oh, forgot to unmute the game. Okay. There we go. Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm gonna save her. And mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. This is even more Eric Cartman. How come? The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, and yet my heart aches for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. I'ma kill you. Oh, never mind. Can't, um, can't do it. Okay, so this is the item shop. Got many good items in here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Is that a mustache or an open mouth? I can't even tell. Let's see what we got. What we got? Hmm, pal block. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. A fright jar. Yeah, sure. And I'll get one more fire flower. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. Get, get the honey. Get the honey, honey. Yeah. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. Not enough to go find me, Luigi! Why don't you give me a tour of your house and No. Above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He's going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of the train. Okay, you have fun with that. Have a good time. Hey Mario, word is you're needed on Shooting Star Summit. Yeah, I know, I know. You, know. you never been? It's great! Just go through the blue gate right there and bear right at Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. Oh, no, 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 no. Jump is the same button as talk. The death of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood. 
Oh, I know what you mean. Can't go to the southern part of town. The train station, the port, the very important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Underground, the underground news. I'm scribbling on the back of the, no the notice board. How naughty. I heard Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip-loving toad. Toad Town Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. Safe bet. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there's now a gaping hole in the ground. Bury your, <laughs> bury your possessions. Rocks and boulders should be fine. According to the witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Ah, oh, the wizard house. Merlin is out. I said Merlin is out, so he must be out. I'm telling you, Merlin is out. Out! Okay. Is that a virus alert reference? Yes, it is. The building with the spinning roof is Merlin's house. He's weird. He also happens to be as stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. He can read the stars. He even predicted that you come back safe and sound. He knew. He knew everything. See that blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign. Yes, I know. You can find out what's where in the... Yeah, in the tone in the places. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I'm not going to read that one. Yep, and here's here's the hotel, the inn, got a post office. Talk to the mailman. Greetings, the name's Pericary. I deliver letters. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for other party members. Please drop by now and then to check to see if you received any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Goombario. Red and blue Goomba. There you go. Goombario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us. And you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba bros. That was the shortest redemption arc I've ever seen in my life. But you know what? G good for them. Okay. And we're still- we're still setting up over here. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. Starting up a little business in Toad Town. We're still setting up, though. I want to see you back here when we open, all right? It was kind of like Yoshi. Hey, mister. You're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Okay. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. All oh, bars! Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulb looks like. If you find a bulb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. I'm sure that will not be relevant at any point. Look at Minty, always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. All right, but don't be like creepy about it or nothing, nothing okay? Yeah, so many, many crate have fall. Many, many crate have fall. You know, it's it's funny. This almost feels like something that a game would come up with to keep me from going in a, in a specific direction earlier than intended. But it would never do that, I'm sure. Anyway, let's go over here. The little pitter-patter of Mario. <laughs> I 
I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was just here a little while ago. Wow. Apparently, hasn't it been days though? Like Mario is asleep for literal days. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with a, maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Okay, go this way. Anything over here? Nope. Anything back behind? Nope. Oh yeah. This place is so cool. Look at this. Look at this! You got stars bouncing on the ground. Go down here. And there's a house. And a picnic table. Or to have a picnic. Mario is too short, but he can, you know, sniff at the food. Go on in here. It's empty. Will that be significant later? Yes, it will. Oh, she's got the, the Triforce of Wisdom. Ah, my, my, I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Mer Lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Oh, well, no, no, not if it costs money. I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I ain't got that kind of money, honey. But I'm gonna rummage through your attic. Oh, she is with child. I'm the famous Merlo of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Yep, sure. What badges do you want to swap for? Ooh, we get a choice. So we got the. I mean, we could afford two of these. The more damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. Sound effects. Keeps you from getting hit by a first strike. That sounds pretty good. I think I'll get that one. Okay. And yeah, I'll get attack FX. Why not? And yeah, it's it, it's just sound effects, so you don't need anything. You don't need any BP to put it on. It's just it's just for fun. So yeah. <laughs> Silly sound effect. Now, if they made this game in the year 2023, it would be pipe falling on the ground. Dot wave. It, it probably wouldn't be, but I like to imagine. Oh yeah, this this place looks so freaking you. It would be an air horn. <laughs> this place looks so freaking cute. A <laughs> vine boom. All good suggestions. Oh uh, yeah, and it even has ambient lighting on like Mario and Goombar. Like this game. It's simple. It's like simple visually, but it really gets the most out of its style. And you you can definitely tell this was a late era N64 game. Yeah, you see Mario's like ear lit up a little bit. Yeah, like right there. But yeah, this this whole area is just so cool looking. Okay, but let, let's let's talk to this guy. And the music stops when you get up here, like <clears throat> beautiful. Welcome, Mario. We have been waiting for you. We are the seven star spirits. 
Our job is to grant the wishes of the good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. Selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seemed content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held in Bowser's followers, being held by Bowser's followers, no, mm -mm, in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And we will... Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. <laughs> yeah. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down there in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you don't want anything, all you have to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You'd better watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not get us into trouble. You better not cause trouble. Ignoring all the words on the screen. Making up my own script. It's fine. <laughs> oh, please. If only somebody could help me.
I'm gonna throw rocks at your window, you stupid whore. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. Cheesed to meet you. My name is Twink. Yeah, that that won't that wouldn't fly these days. Let me tell you that. But you're you're a Star Kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up the, to, to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Oh, oh. The game is starting. The game is starting. This is a lucky star, isn't it? That's my favorite anime. Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine, and that he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? He's just a little guy. Ah, uh, Chrono Trigger music. Mario, where are you? But now I have another star piece, so I can I can go back and get that other badge, I think. Might as well uh, do it. Okay. So yeah, pay off. Thank you. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. In my magical pouch. Here, this is it. Take it. Okay, now the game has really started. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about it. No. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. <laughs> Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here yeah, you are. Oh, no, wait. That's just... That's Kemet. Or maybe just a Magic Koopa. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. And if I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. 
I'll tell Cammy Cooper. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. And yeah, the, I think the game insists on teaching you anyway. So, yeah, show me this guy's balls. Yeah, take him seriously. Okay, so now I can do this. Oh, wait, I don't think I did it right. Oh, God. There we go. Okay. And it works for him, too. And yeah, I can I can block it to decrease the amount of damage that I must take. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. There's some cool, like, geometrical shapes in the background. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Yeah. Is there anything over here? Oh, no, I already checked over there. There's not. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Okay, but first, let me hit that. Anything behind here? Nope. Well, it's worth a check. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you who's out! What the- Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Or maybe, no. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. You're a what? When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great... appeared, and I... standing face to face. Then the following... the peer... was raised me up was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed it, but uh, our hearts were... and... then... so... And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Brothers. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay. 
I will do it. But first I must heal. I must heal and have a meal. Okay, thank you. Save the game. Oh no. We're in that part of town. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely. Definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask Old Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean you. So don't even think about it. Merlin, I got a problem. Ah, oh, Mario, do you want me to predict the path you should take? It will cost five coins. Oh, okay. Gotta talk to NPC Merlin. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Oh, old man Merlin is leaving the house. He is leaving the house, I repeat. I can walk slow. Walk real slow. Are these the strange toads you were talking about? I told you, you can't pass. Take off. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what is? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Ah. Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Ah. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We are tree for now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress, where the Koopa Bros live. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your for fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. Oh, fudge. Oh, no, it's okay. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear that up. I must return home now. Oh yeah, just Koopa Village, Goomba Village. Oh, chapter one. The game is real. The game is real. I wonder what would happen if I just don't press any buttons for an excruciatingly long time. I think that's a loop. Okay. The real game. I didn't jump on his head somehow. I don't even know how that happened. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's followers. The shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. Okay. So yeah, they used to have, uh, in these games, the Koopas that were like, they were red and they had the sunglasses, probably so that players wouldn't get confused with the good Koopas. Like, much more- Yeah, I'm pressing that a little too late. 
You need to press it, like, right before he lands. Yeah, right before striking an enemy. Not, like, when you strike an enemy. Man, you can, you can negate all damage from Goomber. Goomber is powerless against me. There we go. So just go ahead and kill this man. Go ahead and let the hands of fate doom him. No damage. Good, good. Well, gnuts. Gnuts and gbuts. But yeah, we're pretty strong. We're pretty strong now. Oh, more badge. Dizzy attack. Nice, nice. Right jar. Nice, nice. Power block. Nice, nice. Many things are nice in this world of ours. That's how you gotta look at life. I- I- somehow I forgot to press the A button. I don't know how I didn't touch that either. I'm not doing good in this fight. Are you already about to run out of item space? It's possible. I'll just have to use them then. Yeah, the thing that kind of is screwing me up, I think, is that this game expects you to press the button, like, way before it actually hits, which I'm- I'm keep- I'm keep think that, you know, you want to push it, like, right as it hits, but no, you want to do it a little before. It should be said that I have not played Paper Mario in quite a long time. Goomba block. But, crap. Well, there's like, there's nothing Goombario can do for this. So just, uh, just stand there. Just stand there and look pretty, huh? No, if, if I was smart, have him hit the regular Goomba. And then Mario can use the hammer to take out the spike one. See, we're getting, we're getting a little bit more depth. We're, we're getting there. The game is slowly revealing its hand to me. What's down here? Oh, can't get that. Can't get it. But later, later, I will. <laughs> you know, you know, let's uh let's use one of these. Just you know, just get it out. Mash a brick. Don't know why. They ain't got items except for this guy. Oh, 
What are you looking at, you hockey puck? Check this out. <laughs> anyway, there's some serp back behind that one. Anyway, Koopa Village is down this way, so I better go this way. Can't go down that way. Nothing in the bricks. Except my kicks. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I really wish we could welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, Ma don't you, Mario? They look like this. How did you say that? Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! There is havoc. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Ooh, a stanky mushroom. Oh yeah, really miss the way that certain enemies looked in these games, like fuzzies and booze. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe it's just because I don't really like the new games. But the modern Mario designs on the paper characters just never looked right to me. Like the booze especially, it, it just the faces look too small. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Here you go. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You look pretty cool, my dude. And there's some other items here, but I probably don't have enough room for any of them. Can I go back here? Nope. Okay. You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no right- Oh, we're getting political in this Paper Mario game. I will never, ever go back to work in such a terrible place. We're bombs. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. Supposedly, these Babans recently ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. Fuzzies are running wild, poor little Babans. Huh, me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the Fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. The Mario World song. Oh, just the end of it, though. Information. News flash. Fuzzies are running rampant in Koopa Village. Officials advise extra caution when traveling in and around the village. In and around the village. What do you, what do you gotta say, Goomber? It's Koopa Village. Big surprise. Koopas live here. I don't like the tone of your voice, boy. Recently, it seems like some bombs moved here, too. They must have run away from the fortress, huh? I don't much like the tone of your voice. Leaf. Oh, I don't got... I ran out of space already. What does the leaf even do? 
Resource 3 FP. Nah, I'm good. You fuzzies won't beat me! Behold my power! How was that? Super power, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really good. Come here, 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 come here. Now you gotta be, you gotta be ready for him. You gotta corner him. You gotta corner him. No, I got this. I got this. I got this. Die! No, die! Die. Die. You need to die. You need to perish. I need you- I need you to die just a little bit. Okay, I'll come back to this one. Oh, see, we got the block puzzle. I put a high-tech lock on my shell so the fuzzies can't take it. They'll never manage to pry it off me now. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can even get it off right now, to be honest. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, I have released him! Okay, block pushing puzzle. I might have known. You're so- you're so clever, Mario. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I need you to die. I need you to die. I feel like I'm missing something here. This one- this one's kind of annoying. Come on! Come on, die! Die! I need you to die. What do you gotta say? Maybe if I just stand right here. Stand right here, don't move. Well, actually, this isn't a good spot. Right here and don't move. No, right- right here and don't move. Right here. Wait till he chase it over here. And I- I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready. I don't think this is working. Yep, don't think that is working. Come on, come on. It won't go where you are. Oh, I know. I know. I figured that out. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on! You dirty bitch! Come on! <laughs> God, this is... Th Do you have an invisibility spell? I legitimately have no idea if you're supposed to do this. I have completely forgotten the solution to this. You have to do something else. Yeah, maybe. Let me go in this house. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here. When there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. 
Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. Mini book. He knows many thing. Okay, let me try and jump on it. Oh. I don't think- I don't think that's gonna work either. Wait, do you spin- do you spin into him? That sounds familiar. That doesn't seem to be working, though. Hmm. Okay, no, that d that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, yeah, I don't- I don't know about this guy. Hmm. It's like, he's always too fast. What do you do about the guy who's too fast? I mean, I don't have many tools for the job. What's the world coming to when a Koopa can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies? I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Bonsai. I mean, I can't, like... Maybe I gotta do this first? Who's there? I'm kinda busy right now. What? What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has gotta be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. Swap Fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassed. Well, I hate to tell you, Mac. The problem is that the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So, if you don't mind, could you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario. Looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like whoop. Okay. I will kill him. Milk. Oh. Oh, he ran this way. Oh. You can get into a battle with this guy. This is a fuzzy. Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. It's a dude with a beard. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. It's really tough to time their attacks. If they latch onto you, watch out, they'll absorb your HP. Okay, kill him. Okay, kill. Just do a little killing. I don't know if it's possible to block that. I'm, I've been trying. Alright. Good, good. Yep, yep, come here. Oh, there's a badge up there. I would like to have that. But it's almost as if I need some kind of power that I do not currently have. Mewark! Come get it if you can! Yeah, yeah. Mewark, guess where I'm hiding? Okay, we gotta play the eyeball follow the thing game. Mewark, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. Guess what I'm hiding? Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no, got me twice. Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. This is the worst voice ever. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think it's this one. Yeah. No, no! I give, Uncle. Here, take the stupid shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get back my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Oh, yes! Yes! This is my shell, all right. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Got my shell back. Uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Hmm, that sounds like a movie I've seen one time. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do, do you think... C could I? Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! Yeah, yeah! No, I'm sorry. I'm on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Well, good, because we might be going there. Yep, so second partner. And you got a whack. There is no- there's no punctuation. There's no punctuation. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we can switch between the two. I changed my mind, sucker! How about a fight? Got a- got a tutorial, the new partner. Must- must tutorial. And yes, that's a really good move. Oh, yeah, you can block it. My timing was just bad. There we go. So yeah, it, it kind of it retains that for Mario RPG, where you got to you got to learn the timings. It's a bit more obvious in this game, though, because Mar Mario RPG was... Well, okay, it's kind of like... Mario RPG was like, you, you just, you press A. Right? That's, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do! But when you have to press A, we're not going to tell you that. <laughs> you just, you gotta figure it out. We'll be good, we'll be good! Whereas with this game, they're a bit more robust. Like, you have to do more and more different things. But... You know, the game pretty clearly tells you what they are. Yeah, so if I... You can increase your maximum HP with that badge. How much does that take? That takes, that takes all three, so I'm, I'm gonna have to level up badge points next, I think. The action commands didn't always feel as satisfying in Super Mario RPG as they do here. I mean, I think they had a good punch to them in RPG, but... Yeah, they're- they're a lot... They're a lot more varied in this game. Oh, nice place you got here, Mac. Oh, so this- this guy just gets his shell back. Automatically. So, I- I hope I didn't miss out on anything by not helping him. I hope that's not, like, permanently missable content. I fear that it could be. <gasps> it's the worm man. Guys, it's the worm man. Time to restart. Is it? Is there stuff you get for helping him? If, if so, what do you get? 
you know, we, we won't worry about it. We're just gonna, we're gonna... I'm gonna run back and I'm gonna get that item that Cooper can get and then I'll, I'll save. And then that'll probably be it for this session. I mean, like, if they just can get, if they just give you a consumable item, it's like, whatever. Yeah, it was a pretty typical item. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but... You know, whatever. Whatever. It's not a big deal. It is not a big deal. Yeah, so just go down here. And yeah, you, you remember this? You remember this from five minutes ago? Grab that. There we go. I mean, I wish I could have done it, but at the same time, I was having no luck figuring all that out. Hang on, I need to heal. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. It is full of whimsy. Okay, so we're gonna save. And next time we'll do the rest of this chapter. We'll talk to the worm man. I'm sure he's got fun things to say. Don't you? But for now, I will see you. Next stream will probably be... It'll probably be either Galaxy or Spongebob. Because I, I need- I wanted to do the extra stuff in Spongebob, I don't know. And then we'll- we'll- and then we'll come back to this. Bye-bye.